Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install a Jorin OS on VirtualBox. So, Jorin OS is a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu. It uses GNOME 3 or XFC for desktop environment as the default. Although the desktop is heavily customized in order to help users transition from Windows and Mac OS usually. This video will be the details about the Jorin OS and the things to be considered um, while installing the Jorin OS on VirtualBox. So you need to watch the video until the end to know the exact process of installation of Jorin OS on VirtualBox. So to install the Jorin OS in VirtualBox, first of all you need to download the Jorin OS ISO file and you need to download the exe file of the VirtualBox and install it on your system. So the first thing to do is to download the ISO file of the Jorin OS. So you need to go through this link, I'll give this link in the description box. So you can see uh, Jorin OS in its version and pro written here. So the pro version requires some money to download it. So you can see this here. So as for the learning or as for the uh, beginners, you can try the free version down here. So you can see Jorin OS 16.2 core uh, for the modern PCs and another one is Jorin OS 16.2 Lite. So this is for the older PCs. So we are going to download the Jorin OS 16.2 core which is for the normal PC. So just click and download it. So you can download the pro version later on after using the Jorin OS free version. So if you like the Jorin OS, then later on you can upgrade to the pro version. So for now, uh, just scroll and download the free version. You can just put your email address uh, to subscribe the news and letters, whatever, or you can just skip the download from here. So after downloading the Jorin OS ISO file, you need to download the exe file of the VirtualBox to install it on your system. So if you haven't installed the uh, VirtualBox, then you need to search for VirtualBox and you need to go through this link. I'll give this link in the description box so you can copy it from there. So down here, you can find the VirtualBox platform package section and you can download the VirtualBox from this link, Windows host. So. After downloading the ISO file of the Jorin OS and the VirtualBox EXE file to install it on your system, uh, go to the download folder and you need to run the VirtualBox ISO file as the administrator. So right click on it and run it as the administrator. So basically the installation is pretty much easy, you just need to click on next for a couple of times and just click on install it. So that's it. Now uh, start the Oracle VM VirtualBox. So actually this is the interface of the VirtualBox and um, you can see this new button here. So it first to set up the Jury OS on your VirtualBox system, click on this button new and you need to type the name of the operating system. So our operating system is Jury OS. So choose that and you just need to type that and choose the type Linux and choose the version Ubuntu. So we know that Jory OS is based on Ubuntu so you can just choose the Ubuntu 64 bit. So after this, you just need to click on next and now you need to allocate the uh, RAM size or the memory size for your Jorin OS system. So the minimum requirement is at least 4 gigs. So you can allocate more than 4 gigs, whatever you want and uh, allocate the RAM. You can just take uh, the RAM up to 4 to 6 gigs. And now you need to allocate the processor for your Jorin OS system. So you can allocate the processor up to the green mark according to the capability of your system. So make sure that you don't exceed above this green mark and just click on next. Now you need to create a virtual hard disk for your Jory OS system. At least allocate 30 gigs of virtual hard drive for your Jory OS system. So you can allocate as much as you want according to your um, need. You can just click on next after that. So the first setup uh, is quite done here and you can see the Jory OS right here. Now, uh, before starting up the system, you need to click on settings again. And you need to get inside the advanced section and set these to byte breaks null. So it will enable to drag and drop, copy and paste files and folders between the Jorin OS and the host system, which is Windows 11. So after this, click on system. And these are pretty much the previous settings, which we did. And you need to click on display again. Now you need to allocate the video memory for your Jorin OS system. So uh, according to the capability of your system, so you can allocate up to the half of the screen mark. So it may be different according to your uh, system capability. 
so after this uh, click on the storage section and select the empty section and you need to attach the IS file of the Jory Invest system so uh, select the choose a disk file and inside the download folder you need to select the Jory Invest ISO file so here we go the basic settings are quite done here now it's time to uh, boot up the system so you just click and start now you need to choose the first option uh, to try or install a uh, Jorin OS. So if you have the NVIDIA graphics in your system, then you can uh, choose this third option to boot with the NVIDIA drivers. So if you don't have the NVIDIA drivers or if you don't have the NVIDIA graphics, then you can just try uh, the first option. So let me maximize it, but I know it won't work. We need to install the VirtualBox case edition to adjust it a resolution so we can install it now as it is and we can later on install the virtual box case edition to increase the resolution so to install a jury OS, uh, choose the install jury OS option and now you need to select your keyboard layout and you can check your keyboard layout here and you can just click and continue so now uh, you need to use the uh, few options to install the softwares and the updates. So you can just uncheck this button and you can download the updates later on. Um, downloading the updates during the installation may increase the time of the installation. So you can just uncheck this button and check this button to install the third party softwares and click on continue again. So since we are going to install the um, Jorin OS on our virtual box system you need to select this first option it is dicks and install a jorin os so just select that and just click on install you need to select your um, location to set the time zones and other things so just select your location and click on continue after that and now you need to um, select your username and password for your uh, jorin os system so here we go the jorin os uh, 16 is installing so it may take a while so you should keep patience until that you can just grab a coffee and wait for uh, 10 minutes. So once the installation is completed, you will see this message here. So for now, you can just uh, click on restart now. And it will ask to remove the installation medium and then press enter. So you can just close it uh, to the power of the machine and you can just click on close. And after that, you need to click on settings and you need to make sure that this is empty so you need to make sure that this is empty if um, the iso file is attached then you can just deattach it so after this you can just click on ok and you need to start the system again so when you try to increase the resolution it isn't working uh, the jaron os screen is just fixed to a certain area so we need to uh, solve this issue for now so whenever i try to increase its resolution it isn't working so this is the welcome screen um, actually we can't see it um, because the full screen resolution isn't working in the Jaron OS system so let's leave this for now and now let's try to set this Jaron OS to the full screen so for that you need to exit this mode and just minimize it and you can see this device option here you need to insert the guest addition cd image from this option so you can see this here uh, this is the guest image you can just click on run and you need to type your user password and here we go the guest addition image installation will continue from here so it may take a few minutes so here we go so you can just press the enter and the things are done here so to be within full screen uh, first of all again you need to shut down your system and you need to again restart it and i'm pretty much sure that now the Resolution problem will be solved and the full screen mode will be activated. So here we go, the resolution um, issue is fixed and you can now increase its resolution whatever you want. You can just customize the resolution and let's try to view it on the full screen. To see if it is working or not so here we go it is working perfectly fine 
and this is what uh, Jaren OS looks like when you install it for the first time now you can just eject the uh, VirtualBox edition image so you can just edit it uh, it is not needed now so here you go hey guys thanks for watching uh, in this way you can install the Jaren OS on the VirtualBox system I hope you guys find the video informative see you guys in the next video until then signing out